All right, all right, all right. Live from the hive, we are playing Fountain Lake today. Fountain Lake Cobras. Clinton Yellow Jackets versus the Cobra Kai. Setting up the stream. We're going to get uh, Curtis over here to help me commentate. Looks like any moment now they'll start the game. They said it's waiting on me, but... Yo, what it do? Yeah. Welcome back to another live stream here live from the hive. This should be a really good game today, Chuck. Uh, Scout of the so. opposing team. They look very formidable. Uh, I don't believe we've ever played them before, but I think this would be I, a I'm, good yeah, I'm match not familiar to watch. With Fountain Lake, but. No, we had to look them up. We, we have a habit of looking up all the schools that we play that we don't normally see because we play statewide. So. All right, so we're checking out the bands here, seeing what's happening. Yeah. And they're going to go ahead and throw the Yone out right off the bat. Yes, That's it is high school good. esports. We are uh, Clinton, Arkansas, and we are playing uh, Fountain Lake. Lake in League of Legends. League of Legends. They're going to ban the Darius, and they're going to go ahead and ban our jungler's favorite uh, champion, Nocturne. So, turnabout's fair play there. And we're going to get a Viego ban also coming the other way. So, and a brand ban. So. Uh, that's going to be our support player's uh, main. So I think he, I think he's getting used to being banned, Chuck. I think I think, I think, he, I think, he, I think he knows it's coming every week, or or he expects it to be coming. And they're going to throw the Vigar out there. Uh, I'm all for that. Vi Vigar is super annoying to play against. Oh, it, it I mean, is. It is. But you know, we had our mid cage. lane play uh, Vigar last week, so uh, that makes sense. Yeah, that cage. I wouldn't have. Oh, I wouldn't here have we go, that Chuck. We're going to have Mordekaiser and Master Yi on the rift. I like the Mordekaiser pick. I like the Master Yi pick. Uh, yeah, kind of surprised he's a lot better. Yeah, yeah. Fair enough. yeah. I've actually seen uh, Jinx. Jinx, very no nice. Figures. Yep. I I've actually like seen uh, Garfield play uh, Master Yi a couple of times here lately. He's Actually, he's really expanded his champion pool as of late here, Chuck, and I like that. He seems to pick more based on uh, a team pick rather than a comfort pick for himself. So, The Brad. Yeah, I like the Jinx pick. That's our ADC there. We've seen some really good Jinx we play before. Jarvan. And they're going to bring out a Jarvan, Jarvan to counter in the jungle. I, I like that counter pick. That counters you really well. Jarvan's very strong hey, thanks, early Jarrell. game. Thanks for yeah. stopping by, Jarrell. Good to see you again. Awesome. Yeah. That, <laughs> Ooh, Annie. Uh, there's your. That's that's my go-to. That's on here. that's my comfort pick. You gonna give me my tibbers? We, we got to give you your tibbers since how Annie's playing. Yeah, but <laughs> but that's the wrong team there. But got my tibbers. <sighs> Gotta have my tibbers. If we're gonna have an Ash pick come out here, uh, Chuck, I like that. Ban misfortune. Yep. Yep. Yeah, very nice. Chicken Lord does not want to see Misfortune down there. I don't. I don't like seeing Misfortune in bottom lane either. She's just, she's very strong, very powerful champion right now, and that movement speed is just killer for an ADC. So, no Aatrox. They don't want to see that either. All right. Well, the and no Caitlyn. Our typical A trucks is already picked, but they yeah. don't have to know that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We bend out Caitlin. Yeah. No set. Are we winning? <laughs> Maybe, I <hope> soon. So. <laughs> Maybe soon. Maybe soon. Hey, we're, we're we're winning in the draft. The draft is looking good. Yeah, it, it is looks looking good. favorable. Bro, looks very nice. Ball. Yeah, I think I think we're looking good in the in the draft here. Nothing really surprising of the bands, but nothing that hurts us. No, I, I think that's pretty standard. We've seen the ban list just about like this probably, what, the last three out of the four weeks, Chuck? Something like that. So Orn. Yeah. We got an Orn pick. Got an Orn pick coming in here. Going up Siver. against the Siver. I like the Siver pick. That's, that's a very strong ADC pick since her rework and her blade hits everything around her is really strong. 
Uh, let's see here. Are they going to go with the Zeroth? The Wooden Noob has followed a few seconds ago. Thanks, Wooden Noob, for the follow. Yeah. Is this a tournament? No, this is AAA uh, High School League of Legends in the state of Arkansas. So that's what you're watching. It's regular season. We have one more week to go after this. And then we'll be in a and tournament for the state championship. Yeah, into playoffs. So that that's what you're seeing right now or just about to see. There's going to be a regular season game. It's best of three. So they will play two matches uh, at least possibly three so yeah we think it's cool we really like playing in the in the state championships we think that's important and we got a cassidy pick here chuck i, I like that i haven't yeah, seen much cassidy out of us yet no but that's man uh, the cassidy very very strong mage uh he can basically just scan, uh, spam his q ability and then he really doesn't die so um uh, it's going to be interesting, Chuck. I, thought we would... I, think, I think we'll be doing pretty good today. Um, it looks like an even matchup, but I think we do have the advantage. But we'll find out soon enough. I hate to call a game before it starts, but, yeah, I'm pretty excited to see this one today. Yeah, we, I think uh, we always think we're going to win pretty much uh, because we're highly competitive here at Clinton Schools. So, uh uh, even when we know that the odds are against us, we still want to come in and play a real solid match. Uh, Fountain Lake looks like they've got a pretty decent team, so uh, we're ranked, what, 23rd right now, I believe? Yeah, that sounds about right. right, 23rd. Yeah, we had some I think so. We had some things not go our way earlier in the season, um, but... So... I think we've got a decent team. We're, we're you know, 23rd. We're, we're probably about that in the state. That sounds about right. I mean, yeah, we're we're kind of in a. This is a rebuilding season for us. We had five seniors last year. They were a lot all of young talent on this very team. Very good. Uh, we lost lost a lot of talent uh, this last spring, but we got some really good young players that we're both really excited about. Uh, they're playing very well. They have not been playing league very long, so they don't have as much as experience. Now we do have some experienced players. Uh, they've been playing for several years now. Um, to kind of offset that. So uh, we only have one team here at the school that's a varsity team. We do have some other players that play league. They're I think you may be asking the, across the state. How many? Oh, how many? Oh, there's uh, 67, I think, for this season. Normally so, there's a lot more than that. Usually there's around 100 uh, teams uh, across the state. Hey, yeah, no problem. Yeah, well, there's uh, Between the two of us, we can figure out what you're talking about. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Uh, a lot of the other titles have grown, uh, especially Smash. There's about 160 Smash teams, I, th I believe, and about 160 Rocket League teams. So they all compete across the state, and we do compete in those titles as well. We've got one minute and a half before we will start. There is a three-minute delay on these broadcasts. We will be in the red upper right corner. Uh, Fountain Lake will be in the bottom left corner in blue. I need one of y'all for uh, admin Okay. I'll, I'll all get, right. I'll get All right, we're going to uh, Curtis is going to help out a student, um, and then he'll be back. One minute left. Why the delay? To keep from cheating. Um, there's some things you can see on the rift, and if if it wasn't delayed, then um, the other team could see something about the team that we're playing so that's the reason we we have three minutes that we don't know what's going on on the rift but when we head out on the rift it'll make more sense there's a fog of war we just don't want to be able we'll be able to see everything that's going on where the players will not be able to see everything that's going on so we have a three minute delay to cover for that 22 seconds and we'll be on the rift yeah let's go yellow jackets i'm, I'm looking for a quick start here today chuck i think I think they're geared up and ready to go. They know what's uh, at stake here. We need we need a win this week, and we need a win next week, really, to probably uh, get into playoffs. So I'm hoping that we can jump up in the rankings. Yeah, the game has the 30 minute delay. Yeah, yeah, we we're not having a delay, broadcast delay. It's live, so we appreciate your cooperation. <laughs> All right, we're about to kick off here, Chuck. Do we win the skin war? 
Yes, it does look like we win the skin war. Close well, though. But... Yeah, it's close, but we're we're in there. Yep, yep. Yeah, we got the good skins. Looks like it's gonna fire right off this time too, Looks so that's like good. It's good. Yeah, Direct good deal. Camera, everything's up live. Awesome. All right, you'll see there in the middle that we have a nice little scoreboard. Let's know everything that's going on. We are starting off in red. They are in blue. Yep, Fountain Light coming in in the blue. I kind of like that Siver skin there, Chuck. I hadn't seen that before, I don't believe. Fair enough. Just watching what's going on here. It looks like a pretty pretty straightforward start. A little, yeah. little rip there in the bottom. We're kind of squared off on each side of the river, but... Yeah, it looks it like looks they're like going to just go for a, a straight, typical start here, Chuck. Straight I start. I don't, no I don't think we're going to see an invade, invade or, or anything, anything like, like that. that so, yeah. yeah. This, this top lane should be pretty. Oh, in. <laughs> nice. The little cheeky shot yeah, there. Little, I like that. Rude. <laughs> rude. <laughs> I like that. I, I, I like the Mordekaiser play in the top. Uh, Chuck knows. I like playing Mordekaiser. He's pretty fun. So fun just to stomp around the rift as Mordekaiser. He's a fun champion. So. And we do, we do play some League of Legends. We definitely are not at the level that these students are at, but we do understand enough about the game as far as the play style and how frustrating it can be. That's definitely for sure for us. So, Starting off with the leash. Now yeah. Jinx is headed bottom. Now Ash is headed bottom. Fair enough. Yep. Got a nice leash right there. I like that. Let them get down here. I don't think they're going to miss. Eh, they might miss one or two minions maybe. Annie taking a strong start here with that. With that little torch burn. Oh, yeah. It looks like Orn and Mordekaiser are just going to be they're, content to go at it right off the bat. Yeah, they're like, let's yeah, see who's they're the like, biggest, let's go. the baddest. Yeah, let's yeah. go right now. Let's go. So, Ooh. Mordekaiser Mord definitely. Turns the tide on Orn. Yeah, now Orn's Minions probably going to go down here, I think. Yep. yep. First blood goes to, just like, have we ever Fountain played Lake. Yep. Tarkov? Ever played Tarkov? I'm not familiar with that one. Is that, the, that's the new champion? I have not played Tarkov. I can't remember the new champions. It's not Tarkov. No, that's not. It must be a different game. I'm not sure. Not familiar with it. Set our bottom lane. I like I like the Ash pick for the support. Uh, that actually was just picked in Worlds this this past week for the first time ever. Uh, it worked out really well for DKG. So let's see if it'll work out here for the Yellow Jackets. Ghost Dragon doing a hard push in the middle. Yep. Now it looks like he's going up river. They're going to think it's a revenge move here. Yeah, I think so. Mordecai is going to have to be careful here because he doesn't have his flash, so he's a yeah. little bit more vulnerable here. He's trying to bait him. Uh, he loses his life, too. It was not worth it. I think they're going to get him, though. Yeah, Ghost Dragon's going to come up the river. He nice was, job he by him. He was definitely... Definitely baiting him yeah. for that. Yeah, he should have got out of there a little sooner. I think he yeah. still could have got him. I think you're right. Uh, it's, it's a hard, hard call to make there. Like the W uh, there yeah, by the tough Ash. Call. I, mean, I, just, I was I was hoping he'd bait him, but it just went too long. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I'm, looks like we're doing good here, though. I'm not seeing anything that really sways at one side or the other. No, they're really pretty dead even here right now. Yeah, go counts pretty even. Gotta watch out here for comes the gank in yeah. on the bottom. Uh, both be flashed. Careful. Yeah, that makes sense. Yep. Nice little wall by Jinx to keep him at bay. Yep. And then we're back at this orange yeah, this sword. <laughs> I mean, my <laughs> they goodness. They're, they are not playing around, are they, Chuck? <laughs> no, they are not. Wow. They and here really... comes Master Yi on the top there. Let me see if I can get in on this. Yep, there's Master Yi. He's still looking for the gank. Orn's yeah, trying I think to bait. He's gonna, yep. yeah, his, they got him trapped. It's a good job there. I don't he's gonna he's run got his W there, gonna, but yeah. that's okay. Nice channeling there by the Yi. Nice, nice W. Excellent. Nice plays. job by our jungler. Plays. Go back down to the bottom lane here. What do we got? Half health. Looks like they're coming back with full health. Yep, sure enough. Yep. He's channeling out. Just let me know if there's a lane that you see that we need to go to. 
Mid's getting a he's getting a good push here. He's putting a lot of pressure on the ante. This Mordekaiser's really putting the heat on up here up top. I mean, he's they're both playing super aggressive, so you're gonna see them just trading health back and forth like crazy. Best legend. And Jarvin coming down here to clear out some vision. He's not gonna go in for a gank there though, but clearing that vision, it does give Could him an time. advantage. He's going to bat. Yeah. Yeah, sure enough. So Ash is hurting bad. They're they're ripe for the picking. I mean, if they yeah. were to push up. Well, here's a they're hitting a healing potion there. Said so Ash just needs to be very careful in the position they're in right now. But neither of them are being really aggressive. They're just really focusing on farming. So yeah, they they know if they can hold out to the end. Yeah, I'm gonna watch this for a yeah, minute. Yeah, they're gonna yeah, they're gonna go up. Dragon. That's great. Get yeah, the dragon. Nice job. Collapse Let them push. on that. They are the other team came up, decided against it. See there, Sivir yep. decided against it, so looks like an easy take on the dragon. Yep. Not really much uh, contention there on the Drake. Nice job on our mid laner by coming down for that. Now he's going to get back up here and catch this wave, so he's really not going to lose anything by doing that, except to just gain the dragon. So it's really nice heads up play by our mid laner there. Wish you could remember which key went to directed, but. And Ash keeping the vision there and just still staying in lane. They Got don't want to go back. They don't want to lose any of that experience <laughs> I at all. I, I, yeah, I, I get it, Chuck. But they do play for late game. They do play for late game. Both of Jarvin's the up players. top, so they really have you know free reign as long as they just continue to farm. So really a good call by them. So now if this Jarvin well, does decide to come back lane. down river, then they'll have to be a Andy, little more careful. And being a little aggressive, hit six. Yeah. Got Got the Tibbers, <laughs> and he wants to throw that Tibbers out quick. Hey, yeah, I, I don't hate. blame her. That's how I play her. <laughs> I hit level six, and I'm like, I'm ready to drop it. Silence, Danny. Good move. Looks like yep. Ghost Dragon's no no um, new person on the on the rift here. No, he's definitely not a slouch on the rift. He's definitely trying to take advantage of this farm as much as he can. If you watch him, I mean, he is really focused on farming. Trading man, pretty Mordekaiser good. and Orn just... It's just a... Man, you're going to have the thought. ultimate come out by Orn. Very yeah. nice job by him. Going to have good the ultimate timing. come out by Mordekaiser. I mean, man, they just swapping ulties back and forth here. And he Orn's going to get out. Yep, and, and then goes Master, Yi Master Yi come right back in. Now, until he gets probably one more level, he'll be able to get away with that. But as soon as Yi hits level six and he has his ultimate, that, that would have been a kill there, Chuck. Yeah. That's yeah, right really. Out. When when we're we're just right there. We got the Annie out here too now, don't we? Do we have the Tibbers? I believe so. Yeah, I believe that's that's right. Yeah. Both teams playing pretty conservative right now, honestly. So Ooh, we got Yee Annie almost in there. goes down. Oh man. Wow. If it wouldn't have been for Tibbers, Yee would have went down there. Oh, yeah. Master oh, Yee. Master Yee. Very nice and job by our jungler yep. getting in. But we do lose. Uh, yep. Ghost yep. Dragon does we're fall. Gonna, and it looks like Man, we may have the Jarvan ult out Yee. here. And I don't know. Ye may get Ye gets the double kill there. Noise. Chuck, mop, mopping it up. Noise. Very nice job by our jungler. I think. Did he hit six there, Chuck? I think he may have. Uh, I think that's what changed, turned the tide there. Yep. I think so. We got our Ash at six. You can see Ash hanging out in the lane has paid mm. off and, and got that, that extra level on him now. Yeah. Now we have ultimates in bottom and they do not. That's about to change, but. Yep, there goes Sivir with level six. So they do have one online. They still don't have the other. Yeah, Jinx is level six. Now they're both trying to get a good little shot off, but yeah, that's just a hard, hard timing thing to pull off. To get what? Oh, and Orn's going down. Sure enough, Orn goes down. Mordekaiser jumps out just in time to save his life. Master Yi comes, does, gets the shutdown on Jarvin, and he's running for her life. Master Yi jumps in. Um, Ghost Dragon's really pummeling him, and there goes Annie. So that's a good trade. We got, we got um, one for two. We'll take it.
turn the whole fog of war back on. You have to excuse me a minute. Ghost Dragon pushing hard. Jinx and Ash back down in bottom. They do not have minion advantage. It's not it does not seem to deter them at all. They cleared the way pretty good. Now they'll meet in the middle. Orn and Mordecai's are still battling it out. Master Yi wants to help out so bad. They're just waiting for Mordekaiser to overextend. It looks like it's about to happen. Mordekaiser comes down, thinks he can take Master Yi one on one. Orn comes in, no way. Way too much communication for that. Mordekaiser goes down. Nice you you, you can do that in um in pub play, but when it comes to tournament or gameplay like this, Ooh, it won't so happen. Close. Ash needs to just go ahead and back out now. Lose that XP. I would say even Jinx. Let them push in. Yeah, you know, they went they went up top there, Chuck. But uh, nice job. I found they're going to try to down. dive. Yeah, they're going to yeah. try to dive Ash here. Oh, nice Jarvin's going to go down. It nice does look w. like that could happen. Yeah, sure enough. You got the bear out here. Tibbers. Oh, oh look at that rocket out. going across the yeah. rift. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yeah, Jinx, Jinx ran Man, him away. I, oh, nice job by Ghost Dragon. Yeah. There. Now he's got to get away from Tibbers. Sure enough, Master Yi comes down to that is um that is Colonel Garfield on Master Yi. Yeah. Sorry, I gotta use the <laughs> Drake. Very nice job. Yeah, Mordekaiser is still so, hungry. I yeah. I think Mordekaiser's aggressiveness is about to Ooh, that explains it. You're right. Yeah, Good call, out. the Rift yeah. Herald coming out. Massive yeah. damage to our tower. Orin has to give up some health for that. It's okay. Still did a good job. Plating's still up, so not too big of an issue. Um, but still, nice play there by the Mordekaiser, man. He's Jinx really and Ash had to push in. Yeah. Now they're channeling back. They're... The health's not completely out of the game, but looks like Ash is going to camp there. Hey, trying for that sneaky move, I think. I, I like think it. so. I like it. Yeah, letting... Letting them push up. Oh, he's been discovered. Yep. They face-checked him. Now, if they use their ultimates together, Chuck, that's a pretty lethal combo there with the Ash with the stun, and then we have, you know, two globals with those two champions right there. So, right. I mean, it could be really nasty there. Orn, Orn taking some here. tower shots. Yeah. Jarvin coming in to... Yeah. Ooh, oh man, he that, gets right out of yeah. Jarvin's ultimate man. That's really nice. Throw luck, by I mean, what luck there. it was skill, but no, that was glad really he nice. I'm glad he did. Now, yeah, he, yeah. nice job. Now he's under there. tower. Yeah, and he's breaking off mid lane. He did have to use his flash there. I think he could have kept it, but better safe than sorry there. Oh, definitely. So, yep. And then Ash is going to go down there to the ultimate from Zeroth. So. Got to watch for that. Zeroth has a huge, huge range with that. If you get down low, you pretty much need to just get back. Yeah, we definitely called that this is going to be a close game. It is yeah. a close game. We're 6-6. Six, six. The gold count is 200 gold difference. Um, yeah, it's a very close game here. We got one was what one Drake to one Rift, Rift Herald. Yeah. So, I mean, it's dead even. Yeah. By all, all accounts, it is dead even. Mordekaiser's clearing out vision here now. We'll point out our jungler does have his mythic online. Uh, their jungler does also. So watch out for those two because they definitely have a power Orn, spike Mordekaiser right now. Mordekaiser here coming in. Yeah. Yeah, Orn's like, no, if you're going to do this. Ooh, battle over dragon. Red nice team does get it. job. We get, this, we get the Drake out of that, though, Chuck. Yeah, and then he, he got that smite in there. Oh, man, you just couldn't help that. But. That's all right. We'll, t we'll take the trade for uh, Drake. Yep, now Annie's going down. Yeah. Tibbers is trying to evoke some revenge. <laughs> like like nobody but Tibbers can, but it's not Oh, doing. man, just missed with the Ash oh, ultimate so there. Zeroth yeah. is having a flash there. I don't think he's, he's going to get away from dead. all three. Yeah, he's dead. Nice job there by the Yellow Jackets mopping that up. They get the dragon, and they're going to get a couple of kills out of that too, Chuck. Yeah, yeah. now, now the tides have changed just a little bit. Gold lead does go to Clinton Yellow Jackets, and kill count goes to Clinton Yellow Jackets. Let's go. 
I agree. Sense. Let's go. This top lane is a slobber knocker up here, one, Chuck. Oh. This, is, this is our classic top lane type yes. matchups where you just have two juggernauts just one, going at it. Uh, we really like watching those. I know I do. I know Chuck does two, too. Like, man, it's just real back and forth. We got a nice push here on bottom lane by the yeah, Yellow Jackets, Yeah, actually getting, getting half tower here. Yeah. Yep. Nice job by the Yellow Jackets. Nice some seeing pressure. to back up. Yeah. Yep. They backed in. up right at the right time. Proud yeah. of that. They got in. And that got shows what they some real get. experience play yeah, there. Get out. Mordekaiser is going to go ahead and invade our jungle here. Yeah. Now, looks you better like, be careful. There's three like Yellow Jackets some... pushed up. Uh, they're in the pit, so... Uh, they're going to give him Krug's camp if they can have that uh, Rift Herald, and I don't yeah. blame him. I would, too. Yeah, so. and now he's going about to get into Hornet's Nest of them if he doesn't watch <laughs> yeah, it. He they are pushing middle, and he doesn't know they're coming. Now she does. Yeah, nice <laughs> job there. They're going to really try to shove this mid. I would think so. Rift Herald is out on the Rift, and we're going to yep. have Orn coming down here to help out, And then out they're going to try to break in out yeah, of here. Yeah, they're going to break out the Ultimates here. Sure enough. Master Looks like Jarvis going down. Going to go down here, I think. Yeah, yep. tower goes down. We still have plenty of Rip Herald to hit the second tower. They're going yep. to try to clean this up. Excellent play. Yeah, nice job by the Yellow Jackets. Man, they're going to get another tower hit out of that Rift Herald, too. That's really going to put yes. some heat in the middle lane there, Chuck. I like it. Nice yep. job by the Yellow Jackets. Now they Jackets can roam. There. Yep. And Ghost Dragon Roman is not where you want Ghost Dragon. Uh, no, uh, the best thing you can do uh, playing against Ghost Dragon is keep him in lane and not let him roam because he does love to roam. Yeah, that's that's his favorite that's his thing MO. about this game. Yeah, yeah that's his that's yeah. his mo. He he wants to free himself so he can go roam, and he done an excellent job of that. So yeah, very very nice, very nice push by the Yellow Jackets in mid lane. Very nice. So the Yellow Jackets were just able to, to sneak in there and collapse on that Rift Herald and get that big push. This is going to set them up nicely for the next Drake, Chuck. Fair enough. I said they should be able to keep enough pressure in that mid lane uh, to force them to either have to give up uh, third tower or come contest a Drake. Uh, neither one that they're really going to want to do. So, nice job by the Yellow Jackets there. Oh, just missing the top Man, lane. Man, so low there. Yep, sorry about that. Oh, they just... Oh, and he's going to... Oh, their jungler's going to come up for the counter gank. Okay, I was wondering what happened there. I didn't see it, so... Yeah, fair enough. Nice job by their Mordekaiser and Jarvan playing together. They, there's been a lot of uh, team play in this top <laughs> Mordekaiser lane, Mordekaiser wants sure. that award so Oh, bad. yeah. Oh, I know he does. They're, I mean, they're really, like... Battling it up there, man. Kasten is going to have the advantage here because there's no tower to protect the Annie there, and just no tibbers, just yeah. really nothing Annie could do there. Annie, you really got to play conservative when your lane's lost. Yeah, you almost got to find somebody's back pocket to ride in. Now Orn is going to go in here on the Mordekaiser, and I think he's got the edge this time, man. Mordekaiser is tough, but Orn. Yeah, Orn finally gets, in gets there, him another kill on the Mordekaiser. The yeah. Nice job by our Orn there. Not giving up on it. Still playing aggressive. A lot of times you have to be careful with that, Chuck, because, you know, he, he gave up a couple of kills there early, and that could really be detrimental going into the team fighting phase of the game. Ash getting a good spread off. Jeans, yeah. they're battling out. They're, they're still just a little bit ahead on, on level. That's how they play. They It's not about kill count for them. It's all about Man, level. Jarvin is – I don't One know tower how he is not getting the tower hit. I don't know. I I thought he would have got the tower hit way before that, but yeah, no. nice job by the Jarvan. Orn's gonna go ahead and and push that down, yeah. make that wave go to the next tower. Nice job. Go by back. Him. He's gonna Good drop move. a ward there to keep vision there, and he's gonna go ahead and back. I, I love it. I think that's exactly what he should have done there. Nice job by our bottom lane here. They're just yeah, keeping they, up keeping up pressure, Chuck. I mean, look they, at that. Look at that. Stopping the back right there. Oh, I know. It, I said yeah. those, that just W by Ash them. is so annoying, and a lot of people don't know that every look one of them are. And that sets up. Goes There's our them. roamer. So, so for <laughs> those watching that may know about as much about League as I do, our bottom lane does not go for the kills, and they expect to get ganked. That's just how they play. They, yeah. they know they're going to they're going to lose the kill count Three, two, because we're going to focus go. top. No I've, I've been Better seeing watch this. out for Jarvin, and he does. He steals it. He nice gets in there. Steal and gets by a Jarvin. Steal. Nice job. Of course, Comes we're going to punish him for wall. it. But 
Hey, I, he, if, it's you're worth, him, if you're a jungler worth, and you get that steal and you have to give give it up for it, three, uh, you'll two, take it every day of the week. It's worth, but now we're set up for Baron and we don't have to worry about their jungle. Yeah, that's true too, Chuck. Yeah, they should be able to just go in here and mop up Baron. So I guess it's worth on this end. Well, actually, we could have got both. Uh, both if they, I know, but I mean, I'm know. just saying. I, I'm still going to say it's frustrating as a jungler when that happens, uh, just from Colonel Garfield's perspective, because it's happened to me before playing jungle. Uh, you know you should have had it. It just happens to slip in there. Uh, should have had someone probably watching or a ward thrown over the back there. But as a jungler, it's extremely frustrating when that happens to you. And uh, he's, had a, he's had a really solid game so far, so nothing against his game at all. Just I, I know what he's feeling right now. It's like, man, I cannot believe that that guy just stole that from me. Yeah, that was mine enough. by rights, you know. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he just he's like, come on, let's go with it. Let's yeah. let's play this strange little Three, cat and mouse two, game. Oh, is just that's why. And yeah. waiting on Orn and waiting on Master Yi. Yeah. Very Those nice stopwatch there. Yeah, this is going to be nasty. And Kasten's going to go down to the Mordekaiser ult, so this doesn't work out exactly like the Yellow Jackets no, had thought. But no, but Mordekaiser does go yeah, down. Yeah, Mordekaiser's going to go down. Got to be careful with the Annie in there. Man, I don't know if he has a queue up to get to get around that. And he does, Chuck. He gets, he gets you with the queue. There's, there's our jungler coming in there. and Just excellent heads-up play using and that queue. And, of course, bottom lane, constant pressure. Yep. They're like, oh, we may get the kill, but you don't understand. Yeah, that, that's that's fine. That's that's how we work. Yeah, I like. Well, they're keeping the other bottom lane busy, so they're not able to rotate into these fights, Chuck. And now that they've got Baron Buff and oh, oh, very nice. Oh yes, there. yes, very it, nice. Come on, finish that off. Oh, oh man, just couldn't do it. But oh, they have so to close. back. Yeah. They both have to back, giving us excellent hits on these towers. Man, if they if they can uh, play that a little more, I think and get that timing down. If Jinx throws an ultimate right on top of that, uh, they're just oh, they're master. Toast. He took a tower here. Yeah. I mean, I, I get what's going on here. Yeah. Mordekaiser's going to let it go down. Blue turret is destroyed by Jinx, so the pressure in the bottom lane is paying off. Yeah. The, they're willing to let that go just because they want to shove that bot as hard as they can because now you have three champions over here having to react to what they're doing. So they're forcing them to, re to react to what that they want done. So. Nice job here by the cast, and I think going to get yeah, the, got the, Annie you know, easy. Yeah, Kasten's really, really building here. Uh, strong, got the hourglass, uh, got the magic the sorcerer boots too. So, really strong build here by this Kasten. <laughs> I said, and this is this is the first time we've seen uh, Kasten play from our mid laner this season. So I know it's something he's played before, but probably not something that the other team expected. So, uh, man, nice heads up pick there in that draft. They're bottom what's revenge for that tower, but with well, it, <laughs> they've got the Baron buff there, so it's gonna be it's gonna be tough for them to try to get anything out of that. So I'm going back around here. So they're they're getting the push here on the bottom. Oh, gotta watch, goes yeah, down. Gotta yeah. watch for that that ultimate there. That ultimate is nasty. Probably Constant not pressure. as familiar Looks like, with that. Yeah, yeah. Leak Jinx ain't gonna get that back. No. Nope, Jinx got to run out of there. That's Fair okay. Enough. Oh, nice little Sending escape. Out. Some yep. evade practice paying off. All yeah, they flash the ulti, in. Though. Mm. Kasten's going to come down, but it's just too yeah, late. Ghost got Dragon four, right there. Four in the bottom lane there, so not much they can do out A little of that. retribution, but. <laughs> yeah. All right, we got Mordekaiser and Orn going out again. I think we said that here's, pretty here's much the end. Orn, here's our Orn watching so that everybody can see Orn. I think that we've uh, seen this the entire game pretty much. It, these, it two, these two have been just Master going Yi jumping at in it over and over and over the entire game. Now he's going to get into a three on one. Nice job by Colonel Garfield. All about nice by job by the team, team play there by the Yellow Jackets. I said all rotating in for that fight. I really like that. It's a very nice job. Looks like they're going to come in here and trying to get set up for Dragon. Ash trying to get a little vision here. Very nice. I think they might have. I think they might have learned something from that last uh, fight there, where the Jarvan was able to sneak in and and get the Dragon from them. So they're definitely waiting on the Dragon here. They got nice vision this time, so I don't think this is going to go the same way as it did last time. Jarvan is looking like he's going to come down from river, though, so 
have to be aware of that. But now we got Cassinan out here. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Cassinan's like, They were no, like, nope, you ain't still on no, this one, bad no, boy. Not this time, buddy. No. Nope. <laughs> Zeroth going up for the help. No, too late. Nice job there by Ghost Oh, Dragon. my gosh. This is going to be a team wipe uh, Yeah, here's going to oh, be a goodness. slobber knocker right here, I promise you. <laughs> oh, very poor, nice. Poor Tibbers. Wow, Cassidy gets the quadra out of that. Yep. Yes. Yeah, Tibbers was not enough to circumvent <laughs> that team fight there, uh, no. for sure. Very, very nice job by the Yellow Jackets. All they pushing mid, poor Mordecai's here. are here. Yeah, just not enough bodies to stop this rolling ball of butcher knives. Nope, and there's the Penta, Chuck. I yep. think that may be the first Penta we have on stream, so Cassidy does pull off the Penta kill. Very nice job there by the Yellow Jackets. Very nice team play. They came out of that as a team. Uh, Cassidy does get the Penta out of that, which is pretty awesome. That's very, very and hard to do. And he even gives him a nice Penta kill. Heads yeah. up. Yeah. Um, yeah, beautiful, beautiful cleanup here. Yeah, There's nice job by the Yellow Jackets. Like I said, very nice team play. Very nice team shove right there. And you see that we have a triple kill on top of that. Chuck. Very, very nice. Very nice gameplay. Very nice gameplay by Fountain Lake there. Like I said, their jungler kept them in that with that steel. Let me get very, that. Very, very nice. Let me get um, that uh, board up so everybody okay. can view that board. Now we're going to get yeah. try to get back into the next game. Yeah. Uh, Said so Fountain Lakes Mordekaiser definitely caused some problems. I, I want to see how the Yellow Jackets try to deal with that in the draft coming up here. Um, their jungler played a very strong game, too. So uh, bottom lane was solid. I'm going to mute for just a second. Okay. Okay, okay, we're back. Yeah. Um, just ask for the invite. All right. Let's see if we can't get in game here. Have they not have they not released Cassante for regular play? I don't think so. I didn't I didn't think so either. Probably next week. Okay, so something I noticed in that game while we're waiting while we're waiting to get to the lobby for the next game is that those teams were so evenly well matched at the beginning, but just the organization of the Clinton Yellow Jackets and playing for the planning for the long game made all the difference. Those little bitty wins in the beginning, I'm just saying nothing against Fountain Lake, but it was those little bitty decisions in the beginning that rolled over and became big things in the end. Yeah, I agree with you, Chuck. I think part of that is Let's they're trying go to go jackets. Yeah, I agree. They're trying to fill Crowd each screen. other out. I think in the beginning too. You know, they kind of don't know. Like, hey, yeah. is this guy going to be I aggressive? Jump in on him or you not? know, is this guy just going to want to fall? But it was so even. You know, and but it was yeah, it was until we opened up. Once we got that ripped herald, we opened up that mid lane and yeah. gutted it. Then it was over with. Yeah, and it was all about setting that up. And yeah, so. even the first dragon, you know, the first dragon doesn't have that big of an effect on the overall game. But whenever they push that mid in, that's what really started to sway the tide. Oh, when, when they pushed the, the that was jackets. the end of it. Yeah. They they were able to roam, and like I said, you can't let ghost dragon roam or you get pentakills. <laughs> this is true. Well, yeah, in game greater than early game for sure. Drive, first drive, that's three percent. You regen three percent health every five seconds. Yeah. Don't have y'all might right. have to make a custom game because of uh, game two code didn't work last week either. So So we're waiting on the game two code. We had a problem with this last week. This week we're having a problem with it again. We may have to make a custom custom game. Um, we just don't want to do that unless we have to. So it may just be a few more minutes before we get started back on the rift. Yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna check on uh, my computer real quick. I know we're all connected the same, but I just want to see if the coach says anything or, or we got anything going over just to make sure real quick. Yeah, we're going to go make sure. and Appreciate y'all from watching. Timo Solo. <laughs> I think um, our top lane found a counter for Timo he likes. 
I don't know if he's going to use it or not, but they're definitely always playing ahead. Yeah, I'm interested to see what happens on the um, the bands, see if anybody makes any different decisions on what they're going to ban, and if it starts out the same way or if, if Clinton goes ahead and does an early invade or how this is going to play out. All right, looks like we've got a custom game started. I'm going in and headed to spectate. All right, now you can see the lobby. Is it? Let the Master Yi through. Yeah, that was some fun Master Yi play. That's for sure. They know there's an issue, so I pasted it in there. Uh, there's a known issue right now with game two code not generating. It didn't work right last week. Uh, so play versus is saying just go ahead and create a custom match. So that's what we're doing right now to invite them to. Uh, yes, the Master Yi play was off the chain. That's one thing about Master Yi. If you get in the game and you're able to farm, and you're able to get just a little bit of a lead, Chuck. You just need just a little bit of a lead. And he can skyrocket from there. I mean, if you're able to maintain that lead, you're going to be a nightmare for the enemy jungler and enemy team as a whole. Not waves, Mr. Dane Campbell. Colonel Garfield is Drake. Yep, Mr. Go Drake Taylor. Yep. Ghost Dragons played by Caleb Ward. Chicken Lord is Charlie Smith. And the support guy is Aiden Scroggins. That's right. Adayan. <laughs> See, I almost screwed up. <laughs> a day in Scroggins. Yep. And that collectively is your Clinton Yellow Jacket uh, League of Legends eSport team for this fall. I said, I've got high hopes for them for in the spring. If they can all kind of get together and get some more practice in, I think the sky's the limit for them, Chuck. Yeah, the uh, Chicken Lord and the support guy are both complete new players, and then the other three are veterans, um, seniors. So, right. uh, uh, three players that we will have to replace in the future, and I'm not looking forward to that, Chuck. No, no, but no, got the support guy ones. and Chicken Lord are young enough that if they can figure out this game, yeah, 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 there's going to be some opportunity for some other kids here at Clinton High School to come into a, a really good environment, a winning environment in League of Legends. Uh, our previous players have set the bar very high for this program here. I'm super proud of all them. Uh, the kids that came in, the kids that are playing right now, I mean, they come in here to win, Chuck, and they're fun <laughs> yeah. to watch. They take it serious. It's not just just no. random playing, random picking. They, no. they, they take losses serious. Yeah, it's, it's, the, uh, it's the typical ups and downs of any team sport, Chuck. I mean, you know that just like I do. I mean – when when things aren't going well, they're they're not happy, and we're not happy. And when things are going well, we're happy. But you know, we always want to find something. Both to teams improve say on. they're ready, so we're about to get into the bands. See how this goes. See if there's any changes. Do you look to see the master E being banned out? <laughs> I'm gonna say they're gonna throw that master E out of there, and I'm gonna say we're gonna throw Mordekaiser out, Chuck. <laughs> I, I don't think <laughs> I mean, we would have played against the Mord. I don't. I, that, I mean, that Mordekaiser was pretty salty there, Chuck. But there is worse things. What if what if Tebow showed up? <laughs> Hey, it, pick your poison, right? That's right. <laughs> Gonna throw out Darius right off the right off the bat, so we'll see him on the rift this time. And there we go, Ye is out of there. Ye ye, <laughs> see you later, Ye. <laughs> Take a hike, buddy. <laughs> ye ye. Oh, that's awful. We're gonna throw the Viego out, so no, no Viego, no, no Yone. No yeah. one likes I, to play against Yone. Don't blame him. 
I, I don't have to very much. Chuck gets the, the pleasure of playing against Yone and Yone. So. <laughs> and I know it's not Vigar, very enjoyable. No Vigar. They're yeah. saying keep the Vigar no, yeah. out. I, I agree with the other 100%. team banned Vigar, and now we're banning Vigar. Yeah, I, I mean, Vigar is, is super frustrating to play against. So I, I understand that ban 100 right there. And Viego is very strong in jungle early. Nocturne. Too, so. They, they banned that the last time, didn't yeah, they? Yeah, they banned the Nocturne. They're going to try to ban our jungler out here. I said our jungler has greatly got the brand expanded kid. his, uh, That's his nice pool. That's And so, kid. yeah, I like the brand for the comfort pick there for a bottom lane. I, Being I really, a young player, it's tough if you only got a few characters. Yeah, that's what people don't realize about this game is, you know, you, you get comfortable playing one or two champions and then they get banned every game. It kind of leaves you out to dry. I mean, you, you, you've you got to play some champion, but you can't play that comfort pick. It, it really messes with you, Chuck. Yeah, both both of our new players. Oh, fiddlesticks. fiddlesticks. Is that what we're going to say? No, set. set. Okay. <laughs> messing with us. Messing with us. <laughs> We are going to see a Fiddlesticks, though, I do believe. Now, Fiddlesticks is very strong right now, Chuck. They've reworked him and revamped him. He's a top five jungler right now, so I may see a Graves here. Uh, Graves is very good, too, but I, I really think they're probably going to go with the Fiddlesticks. I just got a feeling, Chuck. I just got a feeling. I said Fiddlesticks very strong. And lots it is of the healing, Fiddlesticks. Lots of, lots of magic damage. Oh, oh and is he, is he going to do it? I don't know. Is he going to do it? If he does this, Chuck, I'm never going to let him live it down. You know how much that he despises playing against Shaco. <laughs> Drake, I'm just telling you right now, if you pick Shaco, I will never let you live it. Okay, that's it. <laughs> All right, so poor Drake has to hear, hear about his Shaco pick. <laughs> oh, my gosh. If he watches the stream, you won't be back to the lab for the rest of the semester, Chuck. <laughs> <laughs> He'll be like, no, I don't want to, no, I don't want, I don't want to hear that. And we're going to go Jinx again. Okay, Very so nice. brand Jinx. Yep, I the like Fiddlesticks is out the there. Yeah. 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 yeah, It'll be interesting to see that Fiddlesticks play. I agree, man. Their, their Jarvan play was solid, so I'm going to guess their Fiddlesticks is going to be good, too. Shaco, super, super annoying to play against. Man, he's so frustrating. You, you can't chase him. You want to so bad. He Zeroth can, again. Yeah, That's he, no he surprise. can't fight you toe-to-toe, -to -toe, but, man, he can make you crazy trying to chase him all over the map with his clone, his traps. And he's a very frustrating jungler. Yeah, the Zerath, I agree with them going back with that. That Zerath had solid gameplay. There was nothing wrong with it. Um, actually got a few kills in on our Ash there. Uh, I think caught him a little off guard. They probably haven't seen Zeroth a whole lot in the bottom lane, I don't figure. So the first few times you play against that ultimate, Chuck, you're just kind of like, what's going on here? You know, what, what? He's hitting me from way over there. Yeah, that ain't fair. You know, so as long as they have vision, he, he can hit you from about halfway across the map. Ben and so. the Caitlyn. Yeah. Don't want to see that, Caitlin. I don't blame him for that either in the bottom yeah. lane. Yeah, yeah. Brand's like, I don't, I don't need the Caitlyn. Down. Yeah. Well, Caitlyn has the longest range of any champion uh, that you're going to see in the bottom lane, and it is really frustrating when her auto attacks can reach out and touch you from that far away. Yeah. And misfortune. They're, 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 they, yeah. they, only, they want to be the only. <laughs> they, they want to be the only ranged on the rift. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, no. Hey, they are they going to pick an Ash into us and go turn the tables on us here? They might do it, Chuck. Yeah, they may have wanted to pick the Ash. The Ash may have been a part counter. It may have been. Nope. nope they're going to go for the Sivir, so we're going to see the same Man, that's stupid bottom lane again. Man, Sivir. Mm. Uh, uh, as, as a Tristana in bottom, I hate that Sivir. We're going to see the Anivia come out for our mid laner, and we're going to have the Cassante. I was wondering if, if that was open for play, and it is. So I, I wasn't sure if Riot, sometimes when they introduce a new champion, can't play him in tournament play for a couple of weeks so they get everything kind of balanced. Uh, but I guess they have decided to go with the Cassante right off the bat. I've seen this champion. We saw it some yesterday. Yeah, and Cassante and will go to Nightwaves. Very Waves, strong, yeah. And Brand will go to the support guy. And he's going to be playing against a York. That should be fun to watch, Chuck. Well, we got Clinton Yellow Jackets on the rip. That's always fun to watch. Oh, yeah. So, Cassante, Shaco, Anivia, Jinx, Brand. I like it, Chuck. I like that team comp. You got lots of uh, AD and AP both there. Uh, I really like the comp. 
Fair enough. Oh, uh, I, I like the comp on the other side, though. They're a little more tanky on the other side. They got two bruisers, so uh, with the set and the York, they're going to have a lot of magic damage out of the Fiddlesticks and the Zerath, uh, and a lot more AD out of the Sivir. So, I said, but I think this draft for both teams is very solid. I don't, I don't really see anything that kind of throws a red flag for me as far as as draft comp goes. We got three minutes until we're expected on the rip. So we yep. got that three minute delay. I'm expecting another hot one here, Chuck. I, th I think these yellow dags are going to come out firing on all eight cylinders in this match, Chuck. I'm just going to go ahead and call it. I think they're going to come out, and I think they kind of know what they're up against a little bit more. I think the nerves are a little more calm this go around. Uh, I, I'm looking to see our Yellow Jackets come out here and put the hammer down on this game. All right, I'm going to go to Mr. Smith and see what he thinks. A little sound check on I'm Mr. Smith. I'm getting tickled just thinking about it. I mean, you think about it and, you know what I'm saying, I feel like I'm Dick Vitale or somebody. I think he needs a little more volume there. I don't. Last time I had him blowing us out. but Yellow Jackets, let's go. Hey, always good to get Mr. Smith in on the stream here. He's a huge Clinton Yellow Jacket esports fan. Uh, we actually talked to him earlier today, kind of told him how the teams are doing, told him about Smash and how we're expecting to, you know, contend for a state championship. Um, I think these Yellow Jackets here are, should make the playoffs, They'll probably go a couple rounds in playoffs is what I'm looking for. I know there's some really stout League of Legends competition uh, in the state, though. I mean, we've seen it. We watched it last spring. We commentated a bunch of it. Let's go. You know, so it's going to be tough for them to get in there, but it's definitely not something that's out of their reach. What's up, guys? Like I said, the, the sky's the limit for this team, I believe. That's fair enough. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm still not got my audio balance, but we get a little another what's up. What's up, guys? There, that's about right. <laughs> Is that about even now? I think it's about even now. What's up, Doc? And that, ladies and gentlemen, is why Chuck drives the stream. <laughs> I try, I try. <laughs> Got to get my Bugs Bunny in there. If anybody has any great ideas for audio clips, just go ahead and put it in the chat. Cause... Smith support win. <laughs> Like I said, the bar was set high for this team. I mean, I felt like we were kind of, uh, kind of like a lot of uh, people see with collegiate teams of you know you've got a really strong team and what's going to happen next year when all those seniors are gone, and you got to have people to step up and fill those shoes. And so far, they've done a really nice job of of stepping up their game, especially our young players that have not been playing for very long. Man, they they've really played solid, Chuck. They're they're. They're not feeding in the game. They, they kind of know their limitation. They play to each other's strengths. You know, their spacing is excellent. That's that's one thing I noticed and, with them is from the very get-go, their spacing has been excellent. Got to push that, like, any time. That's the one thing we've learned. So, if you're another team later on watching the stream and you want to know one thing that Clinton Yellow Jackets have learned, that is when you get new people, you've got to teach them not to feed. Like, you can do okay with them as long as they don't feed the other team. So, yep. I said we we've been very uh, lucky in finding players uh, here and there. Even last year, the last two years, that didn't they have necessarily a have a whole lot of experience, but they just had a mind for the game. Uh, picked up the game really quick. Our support last year had not been playing very long. I showed a couple of people his gameplay on our stream. A couple other people I know, and when I told them he'd only been playing for a couple of months, they couldn't believe it. They they were like, yeah, "There's no crazy. way he's only been playing for a couple of months." I said, "No, he he's literally like four months into league right now, and you know it, it was impressive." I said, "These kids that play this game at a high level are very intelligent." All right, it looks like another great start by the. Um Riot, appreciate your riot for getting it right this time. So they, they fixed the loading bug, but now we can't get game codes. Is that how that works? I think that's you, how that works. You have works. to give or take. It's yep. one of the we, – we can't, we can't uh, figure out the entire code, so we'll just give you bits and pieces every week maybe. Maybe that's it. <laughs> sure enough. That's got to be embarrassing. Let's see if we get an invade here like the Yellow Jackets out on the rift. Yellow Very Jacket quickly, Esports, we are gaming. It's something I harp on them about. Do not stay in Be base. Ready. Get out. Be get ready. Buy. 
get out, get what you're going to get, get vision. I mean, it's it's an advantage for you. So why wouldn't you take it? Poke, poke, poke. That's right. <laughs> Nope, you, you're going to be less health than me. Nope, you're going to be less health than me. <laughs> Said we've seen the Anivia in the mid lane uh, several times. Uh, Ghost Dragon does like this play. Up, oh, and he's going to get a stun there. <laughs> yeah, there. No, there. You, you, you done lost this game. I done figured out your mo. <laughs> this is how we're going to do it. I said I like the cheeky poke at the beginning of the game, back and forth. Always fun to watch. Zero yes, the silver we are gaming. We are. Oh, we got gaming. Jinx busting out the the dance moves here too, so they're they're feeling it. Sure enough, they're going to leash without him. Oh, there he is. <laughs> I to say, Shaco doesn't really need a leash, but if he gets one, that's even better for him. So, yeah, Anivia farming. They're not the leashing. We are leashing. It's time for us to move down the lane, and Jinx sees it, moves on. So does Brand. We are not going to be very far behind, and we're not going to lose any XP for that. So, uh, I'm excited to watch this lane and phase. Chuck, it was very close last time on both very sides. Close lane you know, phase. they really, really were just trying to pick each other apart and, and farm as much as they could. So, said so we have more comfort pick down here in the bottom. So, I expect to see a little more poke probably out of the Yellow Jackets on here. Uh, Anivia is going to play hyper aggressive. There's no doubt about it in my mind. But this top lane matchup with the York. Uh, he's already in champion. there. Yeah, he's already pushing. So uh, I haven't seen him up against a York yet. I said he's brand new champion, just just in the game. So oh, nice, nice, there. nice. Guy just out of range of the yeah. the tower. Man, Same thing Hunter, here. Yeah, yeah, nice. Like it, like what I'm seeing. Yeah. Jinx and Brand kind of pushing there and there at the bottom. They're, you can tell they're early game, you know, but it they do what they got to do. They know what, they, what their plan is. Their plan is to constantly put pressure. Look and at this. I, I like, nice I like on the Zara yeah, nice, there. Nice poke there. Nice poke back and forth. Going to force him to use a, a healing potion there, Chuck. Very nice job by the Yellow Jackets. So they're, they're trying to use that range advantage in the beginning. You see that with the Nivea in the middle. Just going to go ahead and shove set out of there. Not going to give him a choice. That's Jinx got to be careful here. Yep. Using the healing potion, though. Still got time. Just go ahead and regen it. Got the level up. Yep. Now, one thing that they need to do here uh, that Brand needs to do is go ahead and get a ward put up there for them. They don't have vision in that bottom bush. They could have a jungler coming down any moment right here. So Yeah, they're pushed in, way up in yeah. poor health. Yeah, I would like to see them work on that for sure. Yeah. I said, and that's just part of being new to the game. They're not quite thinking about it here. They're probably trying to think more about CS, their health. There's there's a, a, a thousand different things going on here. And they want to get that, that first nice blood. job, yeah. <laughs> a couple they, rookies, they just want to see the first hey, blood they got out. They got the flash out of the silver there, so nice job. Cassante here, let's see what he can do. He's out of the circle, so... York does not have that cooldown. It's set being Man, punished. He is mid. really going after the York here. Some nice yeah. job. It's that minion there takes oh. Mm. And then Fiddlesticks oh, Fiddle is coming game. in on him. He better be careful he's here. He's silenced. Yeah, mm. and he's gonna be it's gonna be tough. Especially after that flash. I don't the wall. know our jungler is on the other side of the map, so Shaco cannot come and help. And I think they're gonna get him right there. Yeah, there yeah. wasn't nothing he could do. They get first blood. Nice job by them, but with the jungler coming in for the gank, they had to shove halfway across the map, but they did end up getting what they wanted there, so nice job. Okay. Yeah, he wanted, he wanted to prove who was the best top laner. Yeah, it's it's nice all about the jungle in that top lane. That's, yeah. that's how it's set up. That's how it's being played. Now, knowing that, bottom is free to push here, and they could probably get a plate off this if they'll just both get in here and get their autos going. Yeah, no, playing safe, backing off. That was probably the right right move. Brand yeah. flashing out. Yeah. Yep. Live, live to fight another day. Stay in there as long as you can. Get that XP. Yep. Well, they're, re they're really picking on that Xeroth, though. I like that. They're, they're getting him down there. They're forcing him to have to play back, not letting him play aggressive. I said he, he's definitely uh, you know a ranged mage, so they have to compensate for that. But they're doing really well with it so far. Set frustrated. Set's frustrated. <laughs> well, wouldn't yeah. you be? Yeah. <laughs> yep. Sure enough. Out look at that stun and then the hit. Poke. Yeah. Yeah. Set's Set, Set, Set definitely showing the frustration there. Yeah. 
Nice job there by Jinx. Get waiting on the hit, waiting on the channel by the Xerox, just so he can get that poke there. That's exactly what you want to do. Said so he's slow. He doesn't have uh, any type of speed. Ooh, battle royale here in the middle. Wow. And set does go down. Goes Dragon, proving that it wasn't just frustration. It was pure annihilation. Yeah. So oh, I think you're going to have to be careful here with this York because he's going to try to get him trapped in there every single time. And then escaping is just yeah. not. Ooh, there you go, Tower. Nice. Yeah, and all the minions there are going to be on top of he, him. He got the Man. heal. Good yeah. deal. Nice job. Zeroth. I guess Brand and Jinx traded off. Yeah. Last point. Back throw. Who's protecting? Yeah, nice job by Brand getting back to tower there. Just don't don't extend too much. Wait on your ADC to get back. There's ADC. You know, Let him push be, up. Yeah, you just need to be just hanging out, soaking up whatever XP you can. Let your, let your ADC get up here. <laughs> Jinx is like, no. Yeah. Y'all get out of here. Get back off my tower. Yeah. Maybe they can stop this back here. I'm not sure if they see him. No, they're going to focus on farming. That's fine. That's what they should do. Said if they if they had their ultimates up, they probably could have went for something there with Zeroth being lower. But wow, what a shove in this top lane here by this York man! That is wild. Yeah, he is really shoving in there. Yeah, he so. cleared that lane. Push. They get the plate. They get the gold. Now yep. can they get out? Yes. And the little flash heal. Nice Both job of them. there. Nice Pushing poke back. Silver back. Yep. yep. Nice job. Red team has slain, slain the, the dragon. dragon. Yep. Fiddlesticks and Shaco fighting that out. Yep. Like, you may have got the dragon, but you're getting out of my jungle. <laughs> <laughs> I said, Shaco is not a hard engaged champion at all, but he's very frustrating. Tons of traps. You kind of have to play him a little defensively, get someone to chase you. Bottom looking good. They're going to have a massive wave crash here in middle, too, Chuck. So. Shaco is trying to get in here and steal yeah. from uh, Fiddlesticks. I like it. And yep. He does. He gets a smite. <laughs> and he's he, like, yeah, <laughs> you, you steal my dragon. I, I would have, I would make you pay. Yeah. I said, and Cassante, you're going to have to be careful here with this York, especially now that he has his minion. Right, fair enough. Yeah, but I think Cassante we're going to see. Him. Yeah, yep. nice job. I, I think job we've seen this uh, in a couple of games, Chuck, where Cassante starts out just a little slow in the first couple of levels. But once he gets about six, yeah. he starts once, really once, scaling hard. You know, really about four or five, about now, is when he starts scaling. Yeah. Brand, oh, nice job by the ADC there, putting those traps out. Brand just doesn't quite make it out there. But right, yeah, but he definitely countered the fiddlesticks yeah, coming down. nice job. Gives Shaco a little bit of room to put pressure. Yep. Good job. Excellent gameplay. I mean, we lose the brand, but we win the war. Yeah, that's that's a nice job by the ADC there, trying to trying to save the support. Just not quite able to there. The support was just a little too low. Like I said, it, and he just needs to just hang out here, <laughs> punish what he can. Yeah, nice job. That was great. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what, what are you gonna do about it? Huh? Yeah. Is that what is that all you got? <laughs> Yeah, and Zeros trying to channel here. Like I said, they're trying to get something my, out of this. My but brand's, brand's coming back. back. Yeah. yeah, brand's back now, so going to even up the odds. Nice poke by Brand there. Nice poke by Zeros and Shayko going to try to come in here for the gank. Oh, oh! nice! His, his precision ultimate crazy. by the Chicken Lord there, <laughs> saying, "You know what? The gank's coming, but I'm going to go from downtown, baby." <laughs> that was definitely from downtown. Nice job there by yeah. our ADC. Cleared out, pushed. Yeah, go ahead. And, and get that pushed out there and back and buy your item and let's go again. I'm Man, gonna... Set is trying to come in here on the Anivia. Not going to see what's going to happen here. And we got Set pushing not out. Our mid laner pushed up here. Sorry, I had to mute it. Oh, that's okay. And then now we've got to get our, our bottom lane is pushing in, looking good. I said Anivia just being a terror in the middle. Now Fiddlesticks is hanging around there. So let's see if they, nope, they're not, Anivia's gonna back off of it. I think Anivia just had a sixth sense right there, Chuck, of like, you know what? I think there might be something waiting for me up there. Let's just back out of that. And man, top lane, man, they're just going to war up here, Chuck. They, these two have got, 
it in their head that they are just going to yeah, go they, at each I other. I think they're just evenly matched and they know, know it. it. Yeah, I think yeah. so too. Oh, it's so close. One's to Shaco so trying bad. to go there. Yeah, Siv trying to get Brand. Jing saying no. <sighs> Seth's going to go down again. Yep, to that Nothing wall. He can do. Oh, yep. There you go. Very nice job there. Yeah, <laughs> York trying to play under and tower. Man, they're trying to dive York. Yeah, oh, they, they the, want to dive yeah, him so got, bad. <laughs> all, yeah, man, it's so close too. But it just can't, just can't quite capitalize on it. I said, Shaco setting up those traps, super annoying trap right underneath his own uh, tower like that. Man, that just, it's frustrating. Cassante looking really good. Man, he's really using those minions. And back Trying down to the bottom. Push. Yeah. Bot, man, we got, we just got a nice match going on, a matchup going on bot. They're, they're really evenly matched down here too, but they both are just trying to, to get a push on the other. Just, just keeping it, uh, keeping it really even down there. I like that. It's really nice gameplay from from both sides. Yeah, it's yet again. It's even here at level eight. Yeah. That's what we've seen the last game. And yeah, ooh, fiddlesticks okay. coming yep. in. And he's going to bust Channel out the ooh. ultimate. Now Casante's going to go down to that. It's nothing yeah. he can do there. Huge wave pushing in. The York pushing in. Fiddlesticks coming there just tip the, the scales in their favor too much. Yeah, and he's and gonna get gonna some gold tower. out of this. Yeah, yeah, this is gonna hurt. I tower think he bad. might get that tower if there's not brands on tower down. Well, no, here comes Shaco. He's saying, you know what? No, you're not either. You, you nice can't job have by Shaco. Yeah, nice job. Our bottom lane's getting a nice push here, Chuck. Yeah, yeah, gotta be man. careful. Oh, had tower aggro. Jinx, get out of there. Channeling out. Yeah, Jinx, get hidden and get out of there. That is a very tempting target for Zeroth there. Yep, and he, I think he's going to go for it, Chuck. Missed. Oh. Missed. Sure enough. Woo. Jinx gets away with it. Yep. I said that's that's a time you have to really be careful there. Brand is going to go in, uh, and uh, I don't think, Woo. yeah. Set coming in on that brand, getting right up there in his face. Just nothing he can do. Now he's got to watch out because guess who's going to be waiting right dragon, here? Yeah. I said Anivia is going to try to punish that. And then so Shaco, you know Fiddlesticks coming if in. If you want to dip. Fiddlesticks take the two of them. I don't know. At level 10. Uh, no. No. No, no gotta, he's not. Anivia's Shaco, got way that. too get many. That. Yum, yum. Nom, noms. <laughs> Anivia, Anivia has a couple of kills on her and, belt. It's just yeah. not going to work. Anivia's a little fed in this fight. Yeah, and Anivia's going to – Zeroth's going to yeah. be careful. Anivia's going to get – Yeah, Shaco can get this. Take. Yeah. Jinx coming up. Says, I want to play too. Nice job yeah. by the Jinx coming in. And, and cutting then they up. all and jump on Fiddlesticks. They're all going to jump on Fiddlesticks. Fiddle Even sticks. with his ulti, he's yeah. not going to make it out there. Nice job by the Yellow Jackets to just Ooh. get out of there. Don't Jinx give him is like, you stay free. out. Yeah. You, you stay out of this fight. Yeah, don't give him anything for free. Nice job contesting that at the bottom, saying, you know what, Siver, you're not coming up here. And this is going to get the Yellow Jackets a drink. Yellow this Jackets, is gonna get the, let's uh, go. Team fight win that they needed. Said it wasn't necessarily a complete team fight, but Yellow it was Yellow Jackets, that, let's go. Let's go, baby. I love it. Said that could have easily went the other way. It didn't. Said we got Cassante up here just getting uh, – Jumped on by all these minions. He's got to get this cleared out. And Man. Just, I think, really, if he would just focus on wave and focus on his CS need, right now. Yes, because the wave is um, is compounded. The, if you look, York's got a hole breaker, so he's going to try to solo push anytime he can. Yeah. Like, he didn't even get his mythic first. He just got a hole breaker, so I, I'm sure they recognize and that. And bottom's pushing hard again. Yeah. They want that other <laughs> plate. If it's still up, I can't keep up. Yep. Brand Ooh, oh, just right just past. Just missed the Siver Man, block. Siver might get a double here. Might They're be able to, be to do it. With oh, the, oh, flashing in. Out, yes. Oh, he can get it, but he will take tower hit. Uh, yep. Mm. Oh, so close. So Chicken close. Lord almost got the revenge brand, kill. Just, just back, Brand. Brand, just back. Just back, buddy. Just back. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. You know you want to. You want to. You want to cover your friend. You're like, no, I get it. I, I know, get but it. That, that right there is part of the inexperienced part. Oh, that sorry. part, you're two on one. You've just got to know that, you know what, you just got to give it up. Shaco going down to protect. Yeah, live to fight another day. Cassante is just coming down here saying, you know what, we'll just shove this mid. Yeah, the, the, the mid shove would be counter to the top. Yeah. He's channeling. Saying York is going to want to come over he lost here. Lost that but tower. Oh, yeah, they have, the they have vision there, yeah, so. Yep. I said York is going to come through the jungle here. 
Don't know Are if they're going to meet in. up. I believe they will, Chuck. Yeah, they will. And he's going to get that trap there. That's one thing that he, he needs to not get hit by is that trap. Yeah. That's what's really causing him some problems here. Yeah, and he don't have a tower up there to go run by. It, no, so, so I, don't, I don't think this is very yeah, uh, wise. He ran the wrong I think he's way. a little frustrated yeah. there. Yeah, that was definitely a frustration move. Yeah. It looks like bottom has chance at tower. The plating's gone. Tower is Man, now gone. Jinx is going to get it. Jinx is going to say, you know what? That's my tower. Yep. Nice so job they, they by Jinx. Got to watch out for the fiddlesticks here, though. Fiddlesticks fiddle flashes coming through in. the wall Don't with the blame ultimate. Him. Very yeah. nice job They're going to pay sticks. for that, but it is nice knowing that we lost top, that we gained bottom. Yeah. Said so Anivia is going to come in here and try to clean this up. Yeah. And it can give up because, I mean, like a little bit of mid because it had a great push in mid and come back before anything ever actually happened. Yeah, we just got to watch this top here. Like I said, Nightwave just needs a farm. Uh, get another item. Don't don't let Yorick push on in there. Uh, Yorick's probably going to roam a little bit, so that's what I'm looking to happen. And I said our bot is winning, though, so. Yeah, which gives them a little there. freedom to, to yeah. kind of. So we're, we're going to start seeing team fights here real quick, Chuck. And yeah. I think that's what the Yellow Jackets are looking for. Yeah, the Yellow Jackets are like, we get in team fights, we win. Yeah, I think I think that's what they're looking at. Looks like we're going to have a little hard push in bot here for a second. Yeah, and I, I look for them to kind of shove that bottom and try to set themselves up for Drake. Uh, it's got a minute 35 left on Drake. If they can just shove this wave, get that pushed in there. I said maybe get a gank on this bottom lane since how they don't have a tower to play underneath. That's going to let the Yellow Jackets be a little more aggressive here. Nice stun yes, by the Yes, nice brand. stun. I don't think Jinx realized no, the stun Jinx went out. No, Jinx didn't realize the stun went out or he would have been right there. He was just planning on coming back, kind of playing a little safe there. But that's okay. I'd rather have that than to be over. Shaco's guarding him. Coming around back. Yeah. It does look like Shaco's going to come in try to get the Sivir. Yep. Jinx recognized it. Nice job by the Yellow Jackets here. They and got the silver, the yeah. Yeah, nice job. Yeah, but now they, they should be able to get this Zero yeah, too. Yeah, Zero nice job. Going to clean up with the double there. And now we got now we got Nightwave uh, coming in here and applying a little pressure. Sees that they're on the Rift Herald, so Ghost Dragon. Yeah, he don't. Want they're going to come in and try to shove this fiddle sticks out of here and get the kill on him. Nice like job do. by Nightwave. And Yorick's uh, going to have to. Push yeah, out. Here Sets comes in. Set. He wants to come in and get a piece of that. That trap He's really. going to bust out the ultimate. Oh, 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 so close, Cassante but we pull it off. is going to live out of that. Very nice job. Shoot, yeah. I think here we're about to see Cassante start coming into his own shot. Yeah. I said his his late game is very, very strong for sure. We barely got it that. already, so. Absolutely barely Man, got that. Was that very but close, but, hey, we'll we'll take it. We're going back to directing the camera here. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Now we got our uh, Jinx bottom and lane. With the, like yeah, perfect, they, perfect yeah. time. So they're going to clear up the Rift Herald, knowing they're up there, knowing that there's the nothing they can do. going to be able to take out this um, if he gets another wave. Yeah, I, I do believe that we're looking to take out mid tower. I mean, if you look, Blue team Chuck, slays the, the dragon. The gold is very close. The kill count is dead even. I mean, the really the only difference here is going to be the dragons, and I mean gaming. That's it. Uh, dragons and a couple of towers. I mean, we gave up towers on top. Oh, nice job there by Jinx stopping the, the fiddlesticks coming in. They're, they're not serious. Said York and Cassante going to swap back and forth here. Shaco's going to say, you know what? You want to do that? I'll come up here and play too. Man, they are all over, over the, the rim right now yeah. with this team fight. Yeah, it they're is, just dragging us everywhere. Yeah, <laughs> through the wall. Ooh, Brand. Yeah, Brand you running. Watch You're out. gonna Jinx get under right there. Yeah, yep. sure enough. Nice job. Oh, Jinx is like, come on, to come push on, a little come more. more oh, he almost dodged that, Chuck. He almost dodged it. He didn't. We're gonna see the ultimate come out here Looks by like Fiddlesticks. Cassante and Shaco are both. In yeah, they're dire both. They're, they're in trouble here, but Cassante is Ooh. like. Ooh. Yeah, there's his staying power for you right there, yep. Chuck. I mean, look at that. And Anivia's right Ooh, here, Anivia's so they're going to fall in right and into say, the no trap. Set. Yeah. I've say, been beating you set. all day. I see you. You're hey, gone. buddy. Yeah. Uh, for, Asante's going to get shut enough. down, but Anivia's going to mop that up. It, it, it was already the, – the DOT was already there on the ground. Nothing he could do. 
And their their top laner and their jungler have had some very good gameplay. Nice. Oh, nice stun there by the Nivia. Nice. Nivia, Ghost Dragons Man. roaming. Ghost yeah. Dragons having fun. Ghost Dragons doing Ghost Dragon things right yeah, now. Yeah, Ghost Dragon loves to feed that um that KDA, and he's definitely going to feed it this game. Yeah. It's a nice shove. He's going to have to watch. Yorick's going to come up here. They're they're all going to collapse on him now. He may not make it out of this, Chuck. I don't know. This is going to be tough because Yorick's behind him. And he doesn't know it. But, man, he goes after the Zara. <laughs> he just goes on the offensive. He's like, yeah, you know yeah, what? If you all want to come up here after me, then I'll just fight this. you all. And, man, nice job coming down here to the Cassante because now he's got help down here. And he can sit and fight. And he's actually resurrecting. And I believe, yeah, he's going to get resurrected out of that. Now, he may go down here again, but he's going to get back in enough time to get a couple more, an auto attack, and a, another Q off. Shaco's going to stun. Yeah, Shaco's for the stun. There we go. We got nice the shutdown. Nice up there. Now turn around for Seth. Brand's going to mm, survive. Oh, my goodness. Here we go. Well, let's go, baby. Dark wood. Wow, and then we got the slow there. Man, Seth is just running for his life here, and he is not going to get out. Of that. Fiddlesticks Ooh, is going to bust out. Fiddlesticks the doing fiddlesticks things there. How did he? How did he pull? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. How that happened? I don't know how that happened. I really don't. Here comes Cassante in. Then fiddlesticks. Oh, oh. man, he's going to use yep. the the stopwatch, and then man, this. Oh, man, Zaroth needs to get out of there because he is just in melee range of Cassante, and he's just going to be toast. Yep, Cassante oh, jumps he, back. He, yeah, he, if he would have had his stun up, Zaroth would have been dead there. Wow, Chuck, there's some serious back and forth in this match. 18-18, 36 to 36K gold, dead even, one dragon difference. Man, what a match, Chuck. Yeah, one dragon difference, Um, just a tower, it's like, Man, yeah. and really, you've seen the bottom lane play their game, and this one, they actually made an effect on. They wasn't just laning. They were they were actually putting foreseeable pressure to relieve the top and allow Cassante to kind of come into his own after after losing that tower. Yeah, Cassante is, is definitely starting to pour on uh, here. And nice job on the stun. Realizing he's at a health disadvantage, so he's just going to say, eh, I'll just take my CS and leave. Bye. So, I like that. I said we got tons of pressure in the mid lane for sure. So, Fiddlesticks coming, trying to get some vision there and possibly a gank. Man, Brand's going to have to be careful here. Yeah, with, they uh, don't know anything about that. No, stuff. they don't know They're anything like, about We don't know what's going on. Like They've never seen a Yorick. <laughs> this is the first. Yeah, this <laughs> They're is the like, first. who is this guy, and why does he have little things that keep jumping on me? Oh, poor Brand. Yeah, Brand, Brand has no clue what's going on. Hey, good job today. Yeah. And, and Jinx really doesn't either. And Brand's just, yeah, they're just caught out there. There's nothing. Yeah, they didn't do, they didn't do what a York does. Yeah, Shaco's gonna get under tower and protect tower. Yeah. Yeah, I don't I don't think this is gonna go Said the way. Shaco's they... got the trap sitting out there and let me grab that phone. Yep. Yeah. All right, what a wild rip today. Oh my gosh. We're we've only got one viewer at the moment. Um the other two left for whatever reason. I can't imagine because this is a heck of a game. Twenty twenty 40k go by both teams. Fiddlesticks rolling the rift. Aniva not feeling it right now. Shut down. Oh, Jinx comes across the map, hits Fiddlesticks, but Fiddlesticks protects the Sivir from going down. Shaco, they're looking for the steal. Brand's coming in. Jinx, they're both going to put pressure on them to try to allow this steal to happen. Oh, it's a battle over Drake like you've never seen before. Fiddlesticks goes down. It does look like Clinton's going to be able to take the Drake. They are on the Drake now. This is insane. Insane on the rift. I can't believe what I'm seeing. You're trying to push. Okay. Trying to split push. Uh, he just Jinx going that back. Probably a minute ago. Oh, this is going to work out perfect. Okay. All right. And blocking him off, saying you're not going anywhere. You're going to have to take this tower hit. But he does get the tower. Cassante coming up. Protect the top. Looks like 
all emphasis is on that top lane right now, putting pressure where they can put pressure. Set is caught out. Set will not be able to escape this rolling ball of butcher knives. This is absolutely crazy. Gaming. This time change is making it dark quick. <laughs> yeah, it is. Absolutely insane. You'll have to watch this back. <laughs> oh, my gosh. It looks like we're all in now on the Baron. Fiddlesticks is trying to stay outside for the... No, they say no. You're going to have to back out. Oh, man, like, nice out job by Cassante there. I really like that. Yes, Shaco's even like, <laughs> no. Y'all stay away. This is ours. There will be no stealing today. Absolutely not. Yeah, I like the Shaco. Level 15 the, uh, versus level 12. That was tempting, but you can't play that. You cannot play that. Well, you know what? That gives Shaco a little bit of retribution from that first game, you know, when he lost that Drake, and I know – how that I, I talked about how that makes you feel right there he's like you know what you're not stealing from me again you're not ever stealing from me again <laughs> ever it looks like the team fights are going clinton's way now um 26 22 on the kills the go counts now 3k out so yeah it's the game's turning around in clinton's favor it took a little longer than the last game but this is unbelievable rift play i have like oh i just want to play now <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, Anibia's <laughs> coming in there. Oh, man. Look at it. There we go. Oh, got the ultimate coming yeah, out. But he's going to ult right into going the down. Of Chicken them, Lord got him. Yeah, nice um, but job it was by any, the Yellow Jackets Yeah, there. it was any one of them's kill there. Yeah. Oh, shoot. Yeah, set really, uh, he ultimated right oh, into everybody Oh, Shaco else. running man. to New York did not see it. No, That is didn't. a double. But he's, mm. he, oh, man. Cassante coming in here. Brand, come on up here and, and get some CC in. Nice job. Got the stun for the Cassante. Exactly what a support's supposed to do. I love that gameplay right there. The Jinx is coming to try to get some pokes in here with yeah. Zareth. And, and Ghost yes, Dragon's just going to go Dragon ahead and mop up that Zareth. Man, that Zareth does not want to see Anivia coming. They're pushing hard. They're like, let's get mid. Let's get this mid. Sure enough, now they're in mid. They're going to get that super minion going. Yeah. I said, Anivia is able to push into Zara's, uh I'm not comfortable zone. Yeah, and they're going to take this. They're going to get the mid now. Yeah. Nice job. Now the pressure here. is nice on push. on Fountain Lake. See if Fountain Lake can do anything with this. Yeah. Um, does not look like they're going to be able to protect this tower. No. And Jinx is just going to eat it up. Yeah. Nice job by Cassante coming in there, getting on that tower, kind of tanking set a little bit, able to let the minions come in there, cannon get up there and get some hits. So we're, we're nice mid job. to late game here, and you can see Brands right in Jinx's back pocket. Those <laughs> yeah. two are like two peas in a pod. Yep, I really like it. Yeah. We're like, no, we're buddies, and we're not leaving each other's side this whole game. Yep. Shaco is is still farming. I like seeing that. It's exactly what he should be doing right now. Uh, they got mid shoved out. They're working on shoving this top lane too. They're going to push that out, so they're going to put a little pressure up there. Said so they still have the Baron buff, so they need to go ahead and see how much they can get out of that Baron buff. Said bot. Uh, Outer tower still standing, Chuck. So I mean, there's not not much that Fountain Lake can do as far as just walking in there. I mean, they've got to get a wave to shove in. Yeah, somewhere. I mean, it, it's, it is pretty even if you if you look at the rift. It is pretty even on towers. Yeah. Yeah, and we're gonna have the teleport coming in here. So Jinx is coming up too. Anivia coming in from the top here on the Yorick, so Yorick's going to get pinched in right there. I, I don't see Yorick getting out of this. Oh, and he flashes through the wall. He he's got his wall, minion there. But he's still got everybody coming Everybody's for looking him. to stop. Fiddlestick's now coming in, in ultimate yeah, right in the, in the middle, middle of all of everybody, of everybody just like he Brand's wants to gonna do. going to go down. The support guy goes yeah. down. Anivia's oh still gosh. there. Oh, my god! Oh, my Support goodness. guy gets him. Yeah. Gets his retribution. Anivia is trying to resurrect here. Set goes down by Just Chicken a Lord. Bit longer. Jinx backing off. Hitting and Cassante Zara's is coming in here. York, nice it looks like job. Chicken Lord is going to try to get on Zara. Oh, Anivia nope. just misses Backs the wall out. there. York. Man, York is running for his life right now. 
said they don't see him there. They don't have vision oh, in that bush. Geez, nice job. Slow. Yeah. Nice. And then goes out the bomb. He's like, no, I'm taking I'm tired you of chasing you. <laughs> Absolutely crazy play here on the ribs. Yeah. Good job, Clinton Yellow Jackets. Let's Yellow go. Jackets, man, Let's go. These teams are, are just bad. They are going, going at each other. This is very exciting gameplay. Yeah, it, and Clinton's going to go ahead and get that Drake. That's going to be soul there, so that's going to give them a little bit of an edge there. That'll be nice for them. This is one of those games that makes you want to play. Yeah, this, this is a game that makes you want to play. That's for sure. Yeah, it's so much back and forth here that you just <laughs> love to be in farming. there. Yeah, they're still staying as a team. Zaroff and Silver going down yeah. south here. Yeah, and we're going to see complete gameplay here. We've got York's got Death Dance. He's got Infinity Edge. Um, He's got the hole breaker. She's trying to go so back. So he's definitely go going tanky. But, man, I, I love that we got the Cassante playing with the Sunfire. He's got uh, uh, Frost. He's got uh, Armor. He's got Anti-Heal. I mean, it, it is crazy what all he's running here with the Anti-Armor also. So, I mean, he is, like, completely counter of the. See, but I believe they did. Hey, Caleb, you're coming in on the middle, man. Yeah, no spoilers. <laughs> you're coming in the middle because Sante is trying to get the stop. Man, that that fiddlesticks really likes that flash into an ultimate, and I, I don't like it. Man, that's very powerful. And we got York just trying to just show. He's got a nice wave in here, but here comes Jinx in from behind. He's going to say, nope, you know what? Get out of here, buddy. And the support, and the support guy support sneaks guy in there and gets him with the burn. Nice. <laughs> he gets it with a little bit of burn damage there is what's going to end up getting him. So nice yeah. job by the support there. Man, and we're going to we're gonna have a chase all the way to Baron. Your ride's here, buddy. I heard, him, I, call, I heard him calling for Baron. Good game. And yep. sure There's enough, they did get buried. Fiddlesticks it. tried to jump in, but that's just going to be the death of Fiddlesticks. Yeah, Fiddlesticks. Uh, oh, they even blocked him on the way out. <laughs> Love it. Oh, wow. my goodness. <laughs> wow. So now, think, they're, now they're running Baron buff. This is probably where we end it. Fiddlesticks is trying to ride that uh, one dragon steel, and it has not worked out since then. Yelling is very <laughs> aware of that. They're not going to let that happen. Yeah, Drake's very like, nice oh, job. no, you done it to me once. You're not no, doing it to me again. They stole that the, the entire team uh, was in on that, so they're definitely. They did. Yeah, they stole it. They did stole they? the Baron, and we're still uh, pushing it. it like, wrong. They're still pushing it like nobody's business. So they oh, did my get another set of, oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Anivia with the wall there. Please. They're like, set. well, we didn't need that very anyways. Anyways. The Set has been at the uh, will of Anivia the entire game. Cassante coming in here. I said Cassante seems to, to scale really well. So we hadn't seen this champion very much at all. It's a very new champion, but uh, I, got you. I still think that, oh, man, here comes the double kill here. The tower's going to go down. Very yeah, nice favorite. job. And Yellow Jackets are going to go ahead and get GGs, that in head there. Yes. So GG's. Very nice job by Fountain Lake, the jungler. The top laner played really good, solid games. Their Yellow Jacket Esports, too, we they, are they gaming. they got a team that could be on the rise too, Chuck. Very nice game by the Clinton Yellow Jackets. They're going to mop that up. So, yeah. Go ahead and post that there. Yeah, make sure that everybody can see the stats when they come back to watch this game yep. again and again and again. Excellent Very job. Very nice job them. by the Yellow Jackets. Um, shout out to Fountain Lakes coach. Uh, he actually called me yesterday. They had a problem with the student account, so we were well aware of it. And he communicated with me, so I really appreciate that. Wait, you guys 
You'll be okay. Ghost Dragon will be okay. His KDA is up for the day, so it, it, he'll, be, he'll be okay. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful rip play. I mean. Yeah, just nice overall gameplay by the Yellow Jackets. Nice team play. I really like how they started off a little bit slower, but they scaled really well. They played together well as a team, Chuck. And, I, and that's one thing that's telling for them. I still can't believe we lost the mayor. <laughs> it was just like, we don't I didn't it. think we did, but that's just another case of, like, everything happened so fast while me and Chuck are up here talking that we have called things we, wrong before, we, and we, we didn't go back and watch bear. it, and, and we're like... We didn't kill the bear. <laughs> it looked like we did when we, like we, we stormed too. their castle. I know. I oh, mean, fair enough. Thanks yeah, for watching, so. everybody. We appreciate you on the live stream. That was a fun one. <laughs> well, live from the hive, signing out. Pinnacle, bro. First Pinnacle of the yeah. season. Yeah, Pinnacle on tape. Thank you for bringing that back. Hey, I need you to clip that pin and kill and send it to me. I don't know, whenever I Somebody clip that pin and kill and send it to him. I can do it. Because well, well, you said that it was the oh main was gonna be nasty and their top lane was destroyed. Their their top lane was nasty this game. maybe they, I don't know. Oh, b both games he put pressure on. All right, thank you all for watching. That was a fun hour and a half of play.